everyone, it's Patricia. Today I want to share a project I created for Iron Roses. I decided to alter this birdcage from Kaiser Craft and it's this traditional birdcage. It first looked like this, just plain wood, and also came with this bird right here. But I decided not to use this bird on my project. Instead, I decided to use some stamps by Unity Stamp. First, I colored the whole birdcage using some Lindy Stamp Gang and also Apple by Tyler Angels. This is the spray that I used from Lindy's. It's the Freaky Franken Lime. And I combined this green with uh, this spray by Tyler Angels. It's the apple. I love the apple spray by Tyler Angels. Super cute. So I combined those two colors together of greens to color in the whole birdcage first. And you can see it better in the back what it turned out. And you can see all the shimmer too. And I really like that. And then after that, I uh, decided to glue down paper by uh, Cashmere Theme and it's from the Glitz line. I used uh, this paper throughout the, the whole birdcage and also for the images as well. And this paper is really beautiful. I really like the patterns in here and uh, the colors. It's single sided. So I used the paper to cut into little strips of paper and I glued it down directly to the birdcage. If you guys could see I cut little slits out and I just randomly cut it out and I just glued it to take shape of the birdcage. After that I sealed the whole thing with some um, glue and then after I went in with gesso and I colored the whole top with gesso. So you guys could get a better idea of what it looks like. And then after the whole um, gesso dried I decided to just add a little bit more uh, texture to it. So I decided to use this um, stamp by Uni Stamp. It's called the She Art Print Texture, and it's super cute. It's a nice size stamp. So I just stamped it using uh, stays on all over the bird cage on top, and then I used uh, some leftover jean from another project, and I created this house, and I just uh, etched the whole house with uh, some black marker on the edge. And then I stamped it a couple times using this uh, stamp, also by Unity Stamp. And it's this stamp right here. It's called um, Artistic Brick. So you guys can get a better idea what it looks like. Really cute. So this is the name right here and the number. And I also stamped that using stays on the black, the jet black on there. And then also after that I used some rub-ons from Kaiser Crafts. I'm not sure if you guys are going to see it well, but here's a bird rub-on. And there's another bird right here on top. And I just went over with a little gesso over the bird just to blend in with the house. And then I also used more rub-ons throughout the house right here. And then also right here in the corner. And these are also from Kaiser Craft as well. And then I decided to cut two little windows out using the same paper from Glitz. And then I just used some rub-ons on the inside as well. And I distressed the edges using Tim Holtz black soot. And then over here in the bottom, I created the door using the same paper from Glitz, the Cashmere Dane. And I used two rub-ons, two key rub-ons. And then also I distressed the edges using Tim Holtz black soot. And then over that, I decided to use also some gesso and then use the same stamp by Unity Stamp, the She Art print texture. And I really like that the way it turned out. Really cute. Over the jean as well, guys, I used also some gesso just to create a little more uh, stiffness to the, um, the jean material. And then I took some wire with this uh, pitch black. And I just dabbed it a couple times over the, the G material just to give me more of a vintage tone to it. Over the house, I decided to use some clouds and I stamped the clouds using a stamp by Unity Stamp. And it's this one right here. It's written in the clouds and it's super cute. It's a nice size stamp. Really adorable. So I used this stamp. And what I like about the cloud stamp is that it has already. Um, the print inside, if you guys could see it, really adorable. So I just distressed the edges with some Tim Holtz black soot and I fussy cut it out and I just glued four on the bird cage, one on top right here in the corner, one right here and also two over the house. Super adorable. And then right here I used the stamp also by Unity Stamp. And uh, I love this stamp. I had it a while here in my stash and I totally forgot about it. So I decided to use it. And this is by Christine and it's the um, 
she was a daughter of God. Super nice size stamp. Not sure if you guys could see how big it is in the package. But it's bigger than my hand. Really adorable. Nice size stamp. Really like that. And I stamped her a couple times on the Glitz uh, Cashmere Dane paper. And I fussy cut it out different strips of the paper and I just glued it onto the bottom sheet just to give me a different texture. I just shut all the edges using Tim Holtz black soot. And uh, I left her hair blonde, super adorable. And the little butterfly on top. And what I like about the face, it doesn't actually have the eyes and the nose and the, um, the lips. So it just gives me a blank uh, canvas to it. And I really like that. Super cute. And then over here, I just add tons of beautiful flowers for my own roses. I used the two R21s, and these are the pink ones right here. Over here, I used the Prima Flower. I made two jean of flowers, and these are the spiral flowers that I created. On top of them, I used the gesso to color in all the flowers on top just to give me more of a, a vintage look to it, kind of retro. And then also, I used uh, these black flowers as well. And it comes in this pack right here. It's the R5-274. So I used one of these. And this is the R21 package, the two pink flowers that I used also. And it came in this combo pack. It's the R21. And I love these pink flowers. Super adorable. I also used these S10 flowers in the blue tone. And then also these R2 flowers. And then also these R2-310 in the black tone. I love the black flowers. Super adorable. So these are the pink flowers I used. The S10 flowers. The R2 flowers in the black tone, another R2 in the pink tone, and here's another little jean that I made, a spiral jean flower right here. I decided to cut out some leaves out of the glitz paper by the Cashmere Dane, and it's super beautiful. I really like the effect it gave. I put the whole gesso over all the leaves, all the flowers, just to give me more of a vintage tone. I distressed all the flowers and leaves also with some black soot by Tim Holtz. I added a Prima Bird here on top. And I really like the effect it gave there. Super cute. And then over here I have some Prima Bling. And also a little Prima Leaf right here. And I colored that in using some uh, a Jet Black Alcohol ink. Just to give me more of a black tone. And then underneath this Prima Bling I used the Kaiser Craft uh, Postal Stamp Rub on. Super cute. And you guys can see it better here on the wood surface. The stamp that I stamped it using the Unity Stamp. And it's this one right here the print texture and over here in the corner I used another Kaiser Craft rub on it's a butterfly super adorable too I decided to use this Love um, Wood Towels by uh, Prima and I just distressed the edges using gesso and also some Tim Holtz black soot there and then I also decided to use some washi tape so I used this strip right here on the birdcage and then another little small strip right here on the corner and then I went over with a little gesso on the corners. And it's also from the Glitz Collection. And it's super adorable. I love these little small packs by Glitz. And then right here I added the uh, small uh, wire in the red tone. And I purchased my wire like this, guys. And uh, I buy it in all different colors. And it's a nice size and nice quality wire. Super cute. And uh, you could get in any colors. So I usually get it like that, like that, I don't have to color them. I used the red wire right here. And I just went over a couple times just to give me that small cuteness look right there. And then I also used the same red wire here on top as well, just differently. And I really like that too. And then to finish off this uh, altered bird cage that I created, I grabbed the double satin white ribbon. And uh, I distressed the whole ribbon using black soot by Tim Holtz. And then I went in with um, the pitch black by um, Alcohol Ink. So I used these two combined together. And then also I used um, this stamp again by Unity Stamp. And um, stays on the jet black also. So I used these three right here to make the texture that I wanted on the ribbon. And then over the whole black uh, 
distressing. I went in with some gesso. I painted the whole ribbon with gesso just to give me that very retro color on the ribbon. And I really like the effect it gave. Super cute. And it kind of also brings the chevron um, on her dress and on also the flowers. It's really cute. I'm really happy the way the project turned out. Let me just give you guys a quicker look again at all the detail. All the gesso over the flowers gives a unique look. I really like that. I'm really happy the way all the colors went well together. And this is my project I created for Aunt Roses. I hope you guys like the project I created. Please stop by Aunt Roses.com and show Boom of some love. I want to thank you all for watching. Happy scrapping. Bye guys.